CEOs of retail stores are seeing their sales drop every quarter, and many have chosen to shut down their stores. Some are dramatically planning to close all retail stores, with significant consequences. Hopefully your favorite shop isn't on this list. 1. Starbucks Starbucks, a global coffeehouse titan, has stirred unease among its patrons with the announcement of 500 store closures in the United States. This decision underscores a broader, alarming trend of instability within the retail sector. Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz said, This is just the start. There will be many more. One of the main things that worries our retail partners is their own safety, which shocks me. Schultz said in a video posted on Twitter that Starbucks is closing stores that are not unprofitable because of more safety issues, such as crime, homelessness, and drug use in bathrooms. The business had already said it would close 16 locations because of safety concerns. In the face of such rapid changes, consumers are advised to stay informed about the status of their local stores and explore alternative coffee sources, including local businesses that could benefit from increased community support. 2. Gap A staple in American retail has announced a significant shift in its business model, with plans to close 220 stores. This move is part of a broader restructuring effort aimed at reducing the brand's dependence on physical mall-based outlets and pivoting more towards digital sales channels. This decision reflects a disturbing trend within the retail industry, where traditional brick-and-mortar stores face increasing challenges and consumer behavior shifts dramatically towards online shopping. 3. Godiva Chocolatier Following the trend set by other retail giants, Godiva Chocolatier also decided to close all 117 of its North American stores, a move influenced not only by the shifting consumer preferences towards digital shopping, but also because of the surge in online sales. This strategic pivot underscores the broader challenge faced by traditional retail in adapting to an increasingly digital marketplace. For Godiva lovers, this means turning to the brand's online store or seeking out their products at partnered retailers for Justice. In keeping with the turmoil in the retail sector as a whole, Justice, the popular hangout for tween clothing, has had a lot of changes as well, including the closure of multiple locations nationwide. Due in large part to a noticeable drop in mall foot traffic and an increase in online shopping, especially in the wake of shifting consumer behaviors following the pandemic, this decision represents a strategic shift towards digital platforms. Fans of Justice's vibrant and fashionable products find that the brand's online store has replaced their go-to destination for shopping, which is a significant shift in how young people interact with their favorite brands in a retail setting that prioritizes digital technology. 5. Banana Republic The recent announcement from Banana Republic highlights the difficulties that traditional brick-and-mortar stores face. The company has announced plans to close 130 of its stores, a major move motivated by the pressing need to change in the face of an increasingly online-dominated retail landscape. This calculated move to improve digital sales channels rather than physical stores is part of a larger industry trend as consumer preferences are quickly shifting in favor of the accessibility and convenience that online shopping platforms provide. 6. The Children's Place as we delve further into the narrative of retail transformation, the Children's Place emerges as another poignant example. This popular brand, known for dressing kids in stylish, vibrant clothes, has announced that 122 of its stores will close. This action is a direct reaction to how the consumer landscape is changing, with a rise in digital shopping that has been aided in part by the impact of the global pandemic on in-store shopping habits. 7. J.C. Penney. One particularly striking example of the difficulties facing conventional department stores is JCPenney. JCPenney has made a big announcement. Up to 90 of its stores will close. This decision not only underscores the company's challenges with diminishing foot traffic and sales, but also the larger pressures facing traditional brick-and-mortar retail in an era where online shopping is becoming more and more prevalent. In navigating this shift, Consumers are encouraged to keep a keen eye on liquidation sales and potential deals, but also to be mindful of the impacts on employees and local economies. 8. Sears As we continue our journey through the evolving retail landscape, Sears emerges as a poignant chapter in the narrative of change. Once a cornerstone of American retail, Sears has faced a tumultuous decline. 
Sears CEO has also decided to step down from his role for family health reasons after the U.S. retailer reported a 1.8% decline in quarter-to-date sales at stores open at least a year. 9. Bed Bath & Beyond Another big giant, Bed Bath & Beyond, declared that it would close 200 stores over the course of the following two years, signaling a significant shift in its retail strategy. Given the clear swing in favor of online shopping, this big move highlights the urgent need for adaptation within the traditional retail sector. Customers of Bed Bath & Beyond can turn to the company's improved online platform for their home goods needs as we navigate this change. Digital shopping can be made more enjoyable by embracing features like interactive product demos, online customer reviews, and virtual consultations. 10. Fossil Fossil is grappling with the decision to close between 65 to 75 stores, a move driven by a notable financial shortfall. This strategic reduction in physical locations signals an urgent need for the brand to recalibrate its business model towards more sustainable operations, with a pronounced emphasis on enhancing its digital presence. 11. Disney has also entered this turbulent phase, announcing the closure of at least 60 stores. This decision reflects a strategic pivot towards digital platforms, particularly the Shop Disney platform, and greater integration with Disney Parks apps. This move underscores the changing dynamics of consumer engagement and the pressing need for traditional retail brands to innovate their approach to customer interaction. 12. Brooks Brothers Brooks Brothers, a stalwart of American fashion, has been rocked by the winds of change in the retail landscape. With the announcement of significant store closures looming, fears of a collapse in the sector grow more palpable by the day. CEO of Brooks Brothers, Ken Ohashi, in a recent statement, acknowledged that the sales have took a big hit during the pandemic and that they are forced to close down stores. The closure of Brooks Brothers stores, a symbol of the brand's struggle to stay afloat in an increasingly digital world, serves as a stark warning sign for the entire industry. Consumers are left grappling with uncertainty, unsure of where to turn as beloved retail giants face the prospect of extinction. 13. GNC GNC's $770 million sale to Harbin Pharmaceutical Group was approved by the Delaware Bankruptcy Court. In October 2020, the company came out of Chapter 11 under the new ownership of Harbin Pharmaceutical Group. The store survives today with about 4,800 stores. 14. Macy's, the titan of the department store business Macy's, is going through its own existential crisis. A seismic shift in the retail landscape, the retail giant announced plans to close five more stores and eliminate 2,350 jobs. Customers are left to deal with the unsettling reality of a once thriving industry in decline as Macy's stores disappear from the retail landscape. Customers are warned to prepare for more disruptions in the retail industry with every closure. 15. Kmart Kmart, a cornerstone of American retail, faces a formidable challenge as it announces plans to close over 100 stores nationwide. This strategic move comes amidst declining revenues, with the company grappling to adapt to the changing retail landscape. CEO of Kmart, Jeremy Conlon, cited staggering losses in the past fiscal year, stating, with a revenue decline of 15% and an alarming drop in foot traffic across our stores, we are compelled to make tough decisions to ensure the long-term viability of our brand. Over the previous 15 years, Sears and Kmart together have closed over 3,500 stores and eliminated roughly 250,000 jobs. In a retail landscape now dominated by Walmart, Target, and Amazon, there will only be a handful of Kmarts remaining in the continental United States and a small number of stores abroad. According to numerous reports, Kmarts used to number well over 2,000. 16. Office Depot Leading supplier of office supplies and services, Office Depot, faces a difficult reality when it declares its intention to close over 90 locations across the country. From 2020 through 2021, a total of 263 Office Depot stores were already closed. The choice was made in response to an extended stretch of diminishing sales and heightened rivalry within the office supply industry. In September, Office Depot disclosed a deal to offload its European operations to the investment firm, the Aurelius Group. Following this, in December, the company outlined an assertive cost reduction initiative, which entails the closure of 300 stores within a span of three years. Customers are left to consider how this may affect their needs for office supplies, as Office Depot seeks to streamline its physical footprint and give priority to digital platforms.
The office supply retail industry is changing fundamentally with every closure. 17. Victoria's Secret After closing 250 stores in 2020, the brand has now decided to permanently close another 30 to 50 more U.S. locations this year. The decision was made because of growing competition from online stores and changing consumer tastes in the lingerie market. During the initial quarter of the year, L Brands experienced a notable decline in net revenues, plummeting by 37.1% to $1.654 billion. This downturn was largely attributed to widespread store closures and diminishing consumer demand for apparel amidst global COVID-19 lockdowns. Victoria's Secret, in particular, witnessed a significant sales downturn, dropping from $1.5 billion in the first quarter of the previous year to $821.5 million in the corresponding period of this year. The brand has grappled with adapting to evolving consumer preferences and has faced backlash for its perceived objectification of women and overly sexualized designs. In a strategic move to address criticism and bolster its financial performance, Victoria's Secret announced the cancellation of its annual fashion show in November, signaling a shift in its marketing approach. As Victoria's Secret struggles to keep up with the fast-changing retail world, fans of the famous lingerie brand are left to wonder what the brand's future holds. Victoria's Secret's appeal changes with each store closing, which is a reflection of how the retail industry is changing. 18. Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, once a familiar destination for bargain hunters, finds itself at the end of the road after a tumultuous journey. Following a brief stint of less than 90 days in bankruptcy, the company has made the heart-wrenching decision to cease operations altogether. Prior to its initial bankruptcy, Tuesday Morning boasted an extensive network of close to 700 stores. However, as of late November, the company's footprint had dwindled to 487 stores spread across 40 states. In a drastic turn of events, Tuesday Morning commenced auctions for approximately 260 store leases, signaling the end of an era for the beloved retailer. In its most recent 10K filing, Tuesday Morning disclosed that it had approximately 1,600 full-time employees and 4,700 part-time workers. The closure of its stores will undoubtedly have far-reaching consequences for its dedicated workforce. Despite reporting net sales of $749.8 million for the fiscal year 2022, marking an increase from $690.8 million the previous year, Tuesday Morning faced significant financial challenges. The first quarter of fiscal 2023 concluded on October 1, 2022, with the company recording a staggering net loss of $28.2 million, an operating loss of nearly $26 million, and negative EBITDA of $22.7 million. These figures represent a stark contrast to the corresponding period of the previous year, which saw negative EBITDA of $9.5 million. As Tuesday morning bids farewell to its loyal patrons and dedicated employees, its closure serves as a poignant reminder of the unforgiving nature of the retail landscape. 19. Right Aid Right Aid, a once prominent fixture in the pharmaceutical retail landscape, now finds itself grappling with the harsh realities of financial distress. As CNN Business reported in October, Right Aid's descent into bankruptcy didn't catch industry insiders by surprise. With a staggering $3.3 billion in long-term debt, exceeding the value of the company's assets by almost $1 billion, the writing was on the wall. To stave off impending collapse, Rite Aid has been forced to resort to drastic measures. The company has embarked on a strategy of selling off stores as a survival tactic, hoping to alleviate its crippling debt burden. Additionally, Rite Aid has managed to secure $3.5 billion in financing and debt reduction agreements from lenders, providing a temporary lifeline in its battle for survival. However, the future remains uncertain for Rite Aid as it navigates the treacherous waters of bankruptcy. With mounting debt and dwindling assets, the road ahead is fraught with challenges. As Rite Aid fights to stay afloat amidst financial turmoil, its fate hangs in the balance, serving as a cautionary tale of the perils of excessive debt and financial mismanagement in the retail sector. 20. CVS Health CVS Health a cornerstone of the healthcare and pharmaceutical retail landscape is undergoing a profound transformation as it navigates the complexities of a changing industry landscape. In response to shifting market dynamics, CVS announced in 2021 its intention to close approximately 900 stores, equating to about 10% of its U.S. locations between 2022 and 2024. This strategic move reflects the company's ambition to pivot from a traditional drugstore chain 
to a leading healthcare provider. The transformational journey of CVS has been marked by significant acquisitions aimed at bolstering its presence in the healthcare sector. Over the past year, CVS has deepened its commitment to healthcare with the nearly $8 billion acquisition of Signify Health, a prominent healthcare provider. Additionally, CVS embarked on a $10.6 billion deal to acquire Oak Street Health, a company renowned for operating primary care clinics catering to seniors. However, amidst its ambitious expansion into healthcare, CVS has also undertaken cost-cutting measures to streamline operations. The company launched a cost-cutting program last year, resulting in plans to lay off 5,000 employees. With each store closure and job layoff, we're forced to ponder what comes next. Will online shopping dominate completely? Will there be a shortage of jobs and certain positions replaced by robots? We'd like to know your thoughts on this rising problem. This was Financial Flash, updating you with the latest news. Subscribing is appreciated and also entirely free. Click on the bell icon to enable notifications so you can be the first to respond.